Hello viewers all over the world, welcome to the ever increasing word feast, Eric Hawele is my name and I'm back again to share with you the word of his grace and the word of his power which is going to bless you and to give you an inheritance among they that are sanctified and today I have come to share with you the word of God and uh, I want to solve some questions which have been running on in the body of Christ like where did Cain get the wife he married, where did Cain get the wife he married, this question has brought a lot of uh, uh, confusion in the body of Christ. A lot of people are having a lot of questions about where did Cain uh, get his wife? Does it mean there were uh, other people uh, uh, who were created before Adam was created? A, B, C, and D. Now, we are going to look in the scripture to see what the scripture talks about that. First of all, I'm, uh, I'm going to read the scripture in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he, built, and he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. First of all, the Bible is not the book of history. The Bible is not a historical account. No, no, no. The Bible is specific. The Bible is the book that reveals about your salvation. So, if there is something that the Bible will be detailed about, it is something that has to do with the salvation that we have in Christ. So, the Bible is not the book of who did what or who did what. The Bible is specific when it comes to the revealing of the salvation that you have in Christ. That's why the scripture says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15, the Apostle Paul told Timothy, from childhood you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise unto salvation. Meaning, the, the, the mission of the holy scripture is to reveal the salvation that we have in Christ. The mission of the scripture is to give us wisdom concerning the salvation that we have where in Christ. Now, if everything, if everything that happened in the Bible was to be detailed, the whole world would not contain the books. The whole world would not contain the book. Even with that, we are still going to explain through the scripture why, where did Cain get his wife from. Now, so what happened to Cain's wife? What happened to Cain's wife? If all people came from Adam, where did Cain get his wife? If all people came from Adam, where did Cain get his wife? Now, when, uh, 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 when what, 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 those people who are mentioned in the Bible, apart from Adam and Eve, where did they come from? And if Cain married his sister or his nephew, did they commit incest? All that the scripture is going to review to us. So now, get the pen and the paper that together we may, uh, we may open the scriptures to see what the uh, scripture says. Now, there are some people who preach about the pre-Adamically saying, there are people who existed before Adam was created. Now, we, we, we are not going to say it is true or not. The scriptures themselves, they are going to review to us whether it is true or not. Uh, people say, no, there was a, a, a pre-Adamic humanity. There was a pre-Adamic race. Other people existed. Adam and Eve were not the first people to be created. So there were some other people who were created before Adam and Eve. So that's where Cain got his wife from. But hey, we cannot just conclude that to be true or not. Not until the scriptures gives us credentials, gives us evidence. The scripture says, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof. The word reproof is a Greek word called elekos, and elekos it means evidence. That word there is the same word which is being used in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 where it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence. The word evidence there is the same word which is being used saying scripture are given for evidence. So now, Genesis, Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, the scripture says, 
And the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril with the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So this was the time when God created man. This was the first time God created man. When he created man, he breathed into his nostrils, and man became a living soul. Verse 18 continues by saying, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Meaning, we see here to say, everything God created, he brought it to Adam. And everything that Adam named, that was the first name they got. If God had already made some people before Adam, the thing that he had created, he wasn't going to bring them to Adam for him to name them. Why? Because those people who existed before Adam could have already uh, named them. Those people who existed before Adam were going to be calling those things by the names they knew. So this for God to bring things to Adam to name them for the first time, it means these things they never had names. So Adam became the first one to name them. And the scripture says whatsoever Adam named them, that was the name that they answered. Again the scripture says in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45, And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last, Adam, was made a quickening spirit. So, Adam is being considered to be the first man to be created. The first man, Adam. The last man, who is Jesus Christ. The first Adam who was created is called Adam. And then the last Adam is called Jesus. So, this scripture also gives credential to the First man who was created to be Adam. Meaning, before Adam, there was no first man. Before Adam, there was no any other man who existed before him. So, Adam here, the scripture tells us to say, he is the first person to be created. Genesis chapter 3 verse 20. And Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living, of all living. So this scripture alone, it is canceling the pre-Adamic preaching. This scripture alone, it does not give credential to the pre-Adamic race. Meaning, God, he brought, he made a wife for Adam so that through Eve, all the other living can come out of her. So, there was no any pre-Adamic race. Why? Because the scripture tells, to, tells us to say, Eve, she was the mother of all the living. So, meaning, before Eve, there was no living. Eve means the mother of all the living. So now, if, if people never existed before Adam, so then where did Cain get his wife from? The truth is, Cain and Abel were not the only children that Adam had. Cain and Abel were not the, uh, the only children which Adam had. By this time, the, 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 the family of Adam had grown. Had grown to such a point that there were a lot of people on earth. But they were coming from Adam. They are not being mentioned because they are, they are, they are, they are, they are not, you know. Uh, uh, Cain and, and Abel were mentioned because they were being used as an example of salvation. Like I said in my preamble saying, the Bible is not a historical a book which gives the history of everyone. No, 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 no. It is the book that reveals to us the salvation. Meaning, whosoever is being mentioned here, when the Bible uh, uh, talks about someone, it, it means it is trying to put that one in the line of salvation or in the line of the explanation of the salvation that we have. That's why in the New Testament, the Bible keeps on giving references to, uh, to Abel and Cain. Abel and Cain. Abel and Cain. And the scripture says, Abel, he had faith. Uh, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gift, and by it he, be, uh, he, he, he being dead yet speaketh. So, here, 
Abel and Cain were being used as the pattern, which shows us faith, which shows us about the salvation that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Abel, he is somebody who believed in Jesus Christ by offering unto God the more excellent sacrifice than his brother Cain. So the reason why Abel and Cain are being mentioned in the Bible and the other people are not being mentioned, they are being mentioned for us to learn that there were two children of Adam. The other one had faith in God and the other one had faith in himself. And the reason, and, and because he had faith in himself, he died. But Abel, because he had faith in God, even though he is dead, but yet he, yet he speaketh. Meaning, even though he is dead, but he is alive, where? In Christ. So Adam had many sons where Cain got his wife from. Also, 1 John chapter 3, verse 12, Not as Cain was of, uh, of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him. Because his own works were evil and his brothers righteous. So Cain and Abel, they are talked about in the Bible to, to show us to say there is someone who believed in his works, which resulted to be the works of the devil, and the other one believed in God, who, 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 who had, well, the other one had faith in God, who had the power to serve him. So Abel and Cain, they are mentioned for the sake of the salvation that we have where in Christ Jesus. Not really that there was a pre-Adamic race where Cain married from. No, Cain married from within his family circle. Jude chapter 1 verse 11, What unto them, for they have gone in the ways of Cain, and ran greedy, greedily after the heir of Bala, for reward and uh, uh, perished in the gainsaying of Co. So, Cain and uh, Abel, they were used as the pattern for the salvation that we have in Christ. Now, there are some details which the Bible would not give. Like I say, like when did it happen? When did Adam, uh, 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 when did Cain slew his uh, uh, brother Abel? What, 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 at what age did Abel uh, marry? The same way the Bible does not give details about all those things. It is the same way the Bible does not give details about it. Did he marry his, uh, his, his, his niece or did he marry his sister? He ended bad. All we know is that he married within the circle of his family, which is the children of Adam. And also, Jewish, in Jewish tradition, it states that Adam had 33 sons and 23 daughters at that time. So many people existed before Cain killed Abel. It is estimated that 32,000 people could have been alive at the time that Cain married uh, his wife. So, Cain married from within the circle of his family. There was no pre-Adamic race. Uh, uh, Cain never married from any other, uh, uh, any other uh, uh, family outside his family. There were no people who existed before Adam. People never existed before Adam. Adam was the first person. And through him and Eve, the world multiplied. Amen, somebody. Hello, viewers all over the world. Hope you are blessed and you have learned something about where did Cain get his wife. Don't forget to comment. Comment your view. Uh, share this uh, message and like. Don't forget also to share that together we may paint the blue marble planet with the gospel of Christ. This is all I had for you. Hope you have enjoyed. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.